Welcome back to 624 and powerhouse women continue to make history here in Kern County and this latest milestone takes us through the Kern County Superior Courthouse doors. Judge Colette Humphrey has been selected as the next assistant presiding judge who will assume the job alongside Judge Judith Dulcich. 17's Vanessa Dillon spoke with both and shares more. It's our new normal. More and more women across the country are proudly stepping into positions of power. We're about positivity. This is not about tearing each other down. History being made right before our eyes. Women inspiring young girls to be whoever they want to be. The momentum is strong in Kern County as two judges will make the court's history come 2020. Never, I never really even thought about the fact um, that we were two women in that uh, those positions. I knew she was our first female presiding and I was the second, uh, but it never struck me. Uh, nowadays, I think we just look around and it's who can do the job and who will do it competently. The announcement was made last week. For the first time in the court's history, both presiding judge and assistant presiding judge will be women. For me, I'm excited about it because we're going to be working together. And I think she does a great job. Her management skills are amazing. So it's going to be fun to be working with her. Both Judge Dulcich and Judge Humphrey humbly suggesting that perhaps times have changed. Because at the end of the day, commitment and hard work can take you wherever you want to go. Put your you know, nose to the grindstone and work hard and treat other people with respect and kindness. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're male or female you're going to be able to be successful at whatever you decide to do. Both judges eager to work together and optimistic the news will inspire other women practicing law to rise up and continue to make history. I think it's just that time when our generation has stepped up and said we can handle these positions, we want to handle these positions and their leadership roles and management roles and we can do them uh, just as well as anybody else. Vanessa Dillon, 17 News. And the list of female leaders in the courthouse doesn't end there. The court's CEO, district attorney, public defender, county council, and city attorney are also women in leadership roles. Well, it's 626 